Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is a nice smoky chocolatey eye. And I didn't really have anything particular or special in mind. I just, you know, made a tutorial because I went out to eat with my dad and his girlfriend. And um, I, I like to use any excuse to do makeup to go out. Like if, I mean, unless I'm just like going to the store real quick, I'm doing makeup. So... <laughs> If I'm going out to dinner, or even if I'm like going to Applebee's or something, I'm throwing on some makeup. And plus, I like to use it as an excuse to like, you know, get a tutorial going because I feel really bad. I have six weeks left until I give birth. And um, I really want to try and get some videos out there. And I hope that you guys will stick with me while I recuperate um, and spend time with my son until I start putting up videos again. I'm sure you guys will definitely understand, right? So, anywho, um, I'll come in so you guys can see the look. And um, I don't want to blab on and on, so I'll just get to the tutorial. So you always want to make sure that you start off with a primer, of course. And I'm using Pink Sleep Paint Pot by MAC. And um, showing it a little bit too long. <laughs> I'm going to take a concealer brush and apply it all over my lid and I'm also going to apply it under my lid as well, on my lower lash line, rather. The first color that I'm going to take is, um, Jesus Christ, <laughs> soft brown, oh my god, I drew the Ellis blank, ugh. Anyway, I'm going to take soft brown and I am just waving this stuff in your face like unnecessarily for so long anyway so i'm going to take soft brown and i'm going to take it on a 224 um fluffy blending brush and this is going to be my buffer and or transition color so i'm going to start it out in the um like kind of like the outer v and then just buff it into my crease and above my crease and i'm going to do that to both eyes obviously and um just make sure there's no harsh lines and make sure it's nice and blown out So now I'm going to take my primary lid color, which is Mulch by MAC, and I'm going to use a um, 242 flat shader brush for this. I'm going to apply this all over my lid, staying under my crease, and I'm just going to leave my last fourth open for another color. After I get the placement of the color down, I'm going to flip the brush on its side and I'm just going to start to kind of blend the top of that color out so that there's no harsh lines and so that it works better with all the other colors that I'm going to put later. So now I'm going to take a color called Mystery and you can take Brun, which I have right next to it. They are pretty much exactly the same, but it's just like a dark, um, cool tone brown. And I'm going to take this on a 226, this is the newer version, and I'm just going to concentrate this right on the last fourth of my lid, staying below my crease, but I'm going a little bit into my crease, just a little bit, after I get the color placement and the um, opacity that I want on the outer crease. So that's why it's good to use a brush like this, because it it's not too fluffy where you can't get the color packed on but then it also gives you the ability to kind of blend it out a little bit at the same time. So remember I'm keeping everything like either below my crease or right into my crease because then I'm going to go back with my 224 so that I can just kind of blend it out without putting any color on the brush so that I don't drag the color up but I just blend it out more. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to take a pigment. This is a crushed metal pigment. This is from the 2011 holiday collection. And this pigment is called Misty. I'm just going to take my flat shader brush so that I can apply that on the um, first inner um, part of my lid. Um, I'm not really like going too crazy with this color. It's just really more of like an accent or a highlight. So I'm just going to place that there and then I'm just going to kind of feather it out with like a fluffy brush. I'm going to take my highlight which is going to be blunt type and I'm just going to highlight. <laughs> Nothing special about it. So now as you can see, I did my foundation, I did my lashes, and I did my liner. And so I wanted to do all that first and just get my face set so that I can work on my lower lash line. And by the way, the um, liner that I used, because I didn't mention it, was um, Wet n Wild's gel liner. So the color that I'm taking is Mulch again, and I'm taking that on a pencil brush. I'm just going to kind of buff that under my lid and then right after this I'm going to take um, mystery on a flat liner brush and just wedge it into my lashes but I'm doing this first because I want to make sure that um, the shadow is kind of um, there's no harsh lines under my my lower lash line so I wanted to do it like that first just so that it's a nice smooth no harsh line kind of thing and then I'm just gonna work mystery right into my lash line mostly So now I'm going to take Urban Decay's Perversion Liner to align my waterline and to tight line with it also. Hey everybody, so I finished my eyes and the rest of my face and I just want to come back and show you everything that I used. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, um, I contoured with this bronzer, Saucian, from MAC, um, it's kind of my go-to contour color, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this, it's too orange, like, I can't ever, I can't just find, like, a simple contour color that is not orangey, but isn't, like, ashy either, so, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna buy that, what is it called? Chanel Sol de Tan or whatever that new contour mousse from Chanel. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that and see if it works out for me. And my blush, um, I actually think that orange tones um, go really good with brown and stuff like that, especially warm tone browns, of course, but cool tone browns too, honestly. And so I chose Peaches Blush from Mac. wanted to explain to you what I used for my liner and my mascara I used their real um, I'm really liking this mascara and my lashes are number 43's um, they're called Stardell lashes but they're pretty much just like red cherry lashes they're the same same thing and I'm kind of really liking 43's right now so anyway moving along so I already told you what I did with my contour and blush my highlight I used porcelain pink um, from MAC. This is one of my favorite highlights besides, um, stars, besides soft and gentle. And then for my lips, I had orange lipstick on earlier, but I just came back from going out to dinner with my father. And I, I changed it because, um, 
I had God, what is it called? Oh, it's an it's an orange tinted lip stick and I forgot what it's called but it doesn't matter because I'm too tired to care but I just took it off and put creme de nude lipstick and I topped it off with see-through lip glass very 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 awesome combination for um, a nude lip with uh, females of my complexion and that's pretty much it so I'll come in so you guys can see the look and bear in mind this look is like five hours old so I didn't really do a lot of touching up at all really so I really like how my eyes came out cuz it's like really shiny but brown it's got like this really chocolatey vibe going on alrighty so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.